hickory used to be so beautiful. I would just have such joy thinking I'm going to be going home to my beautiful piece of land and I'm going to be tending my gardens and I'm going to just enjoy nature. We call it the Texas of the East <laughs> because of all the drilling that's going on around us and the billion dollar gas plant that's in my backyard. And there's a rainbow and then <laughs> you have the black smoke coming from the gas plant. This is when I it would burn your eyes and it would make you very nauseated. And this is what they would call a um, an incident or a controlled burn and you could just see the black smoke emanating from it and I have a feeling after the one that the people could see from seven miles away and they can hear it. It was terrifying. I think that's when they started flaring at night. But I, you know, don't, I can't say that for certain, but when we had the air monitors, that's when the spikes would happen. Easter Sunday and two weeks after that on a Sunday, there were flares super high in the air from one of the towers up there. This place has been evacuated three times. Uh, I actually, the day it got struck by lightning, saw when it hit, but we were not evacuated. And it was one of the most terrifying experiences I've ever lived through because we didn't know what to expect. I can't even count the amount of trucks that are on that road and go fast. You know, you're dealing with more diesel fuel, you're dealing with more dust and dirt. This is something that is totally disruptive. And, uh, the noise, the smell, weird smells too, like fertilizer smell. I, I can't even describe it, it's very chemical. We're gonna move because we lost our joy <laughs> with our property and maybe somebody else someday will find joy here, but my joy isn't here anymore, so. Uh, I'm all for being successful and making money but not to the detriment of other people. And I think that's what bothers me about what's happening with this industry is there's so much money involved and it pits families against each other. It pits neighbors against each other. And even the politicians to a certain degree are going by what the industry is dictating, not what the people actually want that are affected by it. It's almost like making a deal with the devil or something. You know, you, you, your farmland is destroyed and your, uh, potentially your water and your air. Is that worth all the money you're gonna get?